Welcome back to Scale Out Guys Workbench. Hey, I've got a quick question for you guys. I know most of you, or at least some of you, use the Tamiya paint stand for your painting. But not everybody does, including myself. I use a homemade, old fashioned paint stand that I built over 20 years ago. This thing, I've been using it a lot, especially now that I've got my channel up. Well, today I'm going to show you how to build your own, because not everybody has the Tamiya paint stand budget. This one here, I'm going to show you how to do it with just some scrap lumber and a coat hanger. It's real simple. This paint stand is pretty durable. The car won't fall off. It might slide around a little bit, but it won't fall off. You can turn it at almost any angle so you can get to the bottom of the car, you know, the underneath sections, without fear of dropping it and have the paint job ruined. So I'm going to set this one aside and I'm going to show you how to make a new one. First of all, you're going to need a piece of 1x4 lumber. It can be any um, it can be any type of lumber, just just a 1x4 board. Now I cut mine seven and three quarters of an inch in length and then I measured in one inch from each end and three eighths of an inch in from the side and drilled four three thirty second holes. Then I went into the closet and robbed one of the few remaining wire coat hangers that we had. You know, these are getting harder and harder to find. Most of them these days are made of plastic, which you can't do this with plastic, obviously. Okay, so you need to cut it, obviously. What I did is this is the piece uh, that's left over from this project. This used to be the hook. And where the wire wrapped around here, when it came up, wrapped around here, what I did is I took just a regular pair of slip joint pliers, and it has this little cutter right here. And I put that in, put the wire in, and you're not going to be able to cut all the way through with that. But all you need to do is just cut down on it, or squeeze down on it, and indent it. You see the little dents there? Oh, if I can get it to focus. And then just take the pliers, grab it, bend. Oh, if you can keep them from slipping. And that piece will just break off and you're, and you're done. So... That's how I managed to cut the wires. Real simple. Slipped a piece of heat shrink tubing onto the wire and then bent it to shape. Now, you're not only gonna bend it on these two corners, but you're also gonna bend it outward. And what this does is when you push it in, come on, get in there. got to kind of work it okay when you put it in there it's going to be like this now you can file off these ends if you want to you don't necessarily have to I didn't but there we go like that and then you just kind of have to shape it you gotta work with it a little bit and when you're done oh there that finally slipped down when you're done you have a paint stand mount your body you just squeeze the metal pieces together set your body on there and let it go. 
Well, like I said, you may have to adjust this a little bit, but once you get that in the range that you want it in, that body will never go anywhere. So there you have it. Another quick tip from Scale Auto Guys Workbench. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you've seen, let me pan the camera around a little bit. I've been kind of busy here. And I'm not going to show you the orange car because that's going to be a surprise. But yes, I'm working on this 81 Camaro. That should be up on the channel very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some knowledge out of this in case you know you don't have any idea how to build one of these for yourself. Now you know. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching Scale Auto Guys Workbench, and I'll see you on the next build.